in all actuality when people come in and they ask me is the wax going to hurt i tell them yes i don't care if god himself comes down and waxes you it's going to hurt <laughs> you know? Okay, so hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shanika and today we are going to be doing a video on my advice to a new wax specialist. So if you're not new here, then you guys already know that I have been, I am and I have been a wax specialist for the past six years. So I'm um, interested in finding out what I think is important and not important when it comes to being a wax specialist then go ahead and keep on watching also guys if you are new here please go ahead and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and if you are returning thank you so so much for rocking with me y'all um like i always say we are on the road to 500 and with y'all help i can get there first thing that you really need to know as a waxer as a new waxer is that everyone starts from somewhere nobody on this earth starts anything new and is a pro at it so please 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 do not be discouraged if you come across a client who did not have a you know really great experience with you do not compare yourself to a waxer who has been waxing for years because when you start out you are not going to be the best you are not going to be the fastest you are not going to be the cleanest like your waxes aren't going to be the cleanest this is normal and i guarantee you that anybody who is a wax specialist now and has been a wax specialist for a really long time can tell you that they've all going through these things it's just about getting past that hurdle you know what i mean even with training even with watching videos you still are going to get some some you're going to have some bad experiences and um the only way that i was able to move past that is to really just pay attention when i'm waxing wax with purpose um that's going to be my first tip to new waxers always wax with purpose meaning um, if you are, if you if you you have a purpose, you have a goal to meet at the end. You will make sure that you do it. If you are just waxing because you kind of want to get over it, or you know you want to just hurry up because you know you're trying to get them in and out, your 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 client will feel that energy and have a good experience. But if you wax with purpose, like I you know want to wax this person and I want to do it gently and I want to make sure that all the hair is on but I also want to provide them with a good service you're probably going to it's probably going to transfer in the service like they're probably going to feel that energy but if you're trying to rush and rush and just get them out of there and you're just waxing just to remove the hair then they're going to feel it too so you really have to understand that when you're touching somebody's body people can feel that energy like you have energy in your hands so be gentle, wax with a purpose, and don't be afraid to do your job. If you are afraid to pull the wax off of your client, they're gonna they're gonna notice that. They're gonna they're gonna notice that. They're gonna feel that, um, and they're gonna think that oh my god, this girl is new and she doesn't know what they're doing, and that's why it hurts. When in all actuality. When people come in and they ask me, is the wax going to hurt? I tell them, yes, I don't care if God himself comes down and waxes you, it's going to hurt. <laughs> you know, like it, a wax hurts. So, but if you are, if you have very nervous energy and you have very rushed energy and you're not waxing with a purpose, then the client is going to feel that and they're going to think that you just did a bad job when that's not the case. That's why it's really, really important to wax with the purpose. Um... To take your time especially if you're new and also understand that if you do come across a situation where you feel like you didn't give your best it's okay especially in the beginning like it you are going to be providing the same service over and over and over and over and over again so you are going to make mistakes like you're not going to be perfect at it every single time you're going to mess up and that's okay like we mess up you know we i mess up to this day i mess up but it's not about, um, you know, dwelling on it. It's about taking it that messed up and really trying to learn and grow from it because the reality of it is that you are dealing with a really, 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 really delicate situation. Um, 
and people are nervous. And so your job is to make your client comfortable and your job is to perform a service. So whatever you need to do to prepare for that is what you should do. Me personally, what I did when I was preparing for um, like just trying to get better at you know waxing, I practiced on myself. So if you are bold enough to practice on yourself, underarms, legs, Brazilians, everything, everything, facial features, um, you are able to see what you're doing to other people. So the way that I got good is I'd start doing my own Brazilians and I would pull, I noticed like when I pull slow, I'm like, ouch, it hurts. But when I pull quick and apply pressure, I actually felt what it felt like. And I was like, oh, okay. So it didn't hurt that bad. So that's why people always say, please apply pressure, apply pressure. Like, oh, it feels so good when you do that. Oh, it feels so good when you do that. Like, so I started doing the same things that I was doing to other people. I started doing it on myself so I can really know what's going on. Like, I really want to feel what you feel when I ask you. So, um, I would say if you can, if you're bold enough, start practicing on yourself um, before you practice on other people because you, you'll you really get a feel for like, you know, what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and you can really critique yourself. I'm a like self learner. Um, I like to like kind of like navigate through, you know, my own type of, my, I like to navigate through my own situation. So that's why self waxing was helpful for me. If you're not someone who feels like you don't have to wax yourself and try it, but if you are someone who feels like you can't do it, then practice on people. Um, depending on where you work, I know where I work, we do a really intensive program where we train, you train for a week and then you train on people for free. In those moments, make sure you are asking questions, you know, like if you have any questions about like, you know, way to wax or how to wax, make sure you ask. Um, also ask your guests, like especially in those, in those moments when you're learning, ask your guests, how did that feel? You know, like, did that hurt? Was that quick enough? Am I applying enough pressure? Like, talk to your guests, especially when you're doing free services for them. Like, really, really connect with them and let them know that this is a learning process for me. You're not just here to get a free wax. You're here to, you know, let me know how I'm doing. I really, in the beginning, had to, like, talk to my clients and, you know, ask them, like, how did that feel? Or did you want me to pull it quicker? Did you want me to pull it slower? Like, is that enough pressure? Um, also, I feel like now, in today's like new wig series, like I said, I started six years ago, there wasn't a lot of videos online about technique. So for me, I literally was just learning as I go. But I feel like now, like there's so many videos of like, you know, techniques of different techniques of how to wax, how to do, you know, different hair textures and hair types. Um, YouTube is a funnel for information. so. Make sure you guys are looking and watching videos and like taking, you know, certain, you know, techniques and making them your own. And when you get into the room, you'll be more comfortable and confident. Definitely, definitely practice, practice on people so that you can become confident. Because like I said earlier, if you're not, the guests can feel that. And if you're very timid, if you're scared to pull the wax off, they're going to notice and they're going to think that it was you who hurt them when in all actuality it wasn't. Like I said, a wax is going to hurt in general. It's just about how you can do it confidently. So every single person I wax, I hurt. Every single service that I perform hurts. Like there is no way to do a painless wax. If someone is claiming that they can give you a painless wax, then that's amazing. I would like to meet them. But um, it's not that it becomes painless it just becomes more tolerable and you can you can you can tolerate the pain so um especially like for people who haven't waxed up for years most of the time if you are a new waxer and you wax if you try to wax somebody who has been waxing for years it's easier but if you are a new waxer and you're waxing someone who's never been waxed before that's kind of when the anxiety starts to kick in and um you scared, she scared, it just becomes a mess. So, um, like I said, the best advice I can give like someone in that situation is to take your time. Like, do not try to rush. Depending on where you work, you might feel like you might feel inclined to have to rush your services. Rushing your service can be the worst thing you can ever do as a waxer, as a waxer in general. Um, 
people can feel when you're rushing them. So if you take your time and you learn your technique, you'll become a better waxer. If you try to rush your way throughout the services, you won't become, you won't be a good waxer. You'll break the hair and you probably won't get tipped as well. This is what I've learned in my years of waxing. No matter, no matter what, this is all me. This is all my personal experience. This is not factual for anybody. This is just my personal experience. Waxing is, I would say, 65%. 65, um, I can say confidently that it's 65% personality and the rest is going to be skill. So if you can win someone over with your personality in the beginning when you're new and you're not and you're not that great of a waxer but you're just okay, like maybe you don't get all the hair, maybe it hurts a little bit, maybe it's not as smooth, but you have a really great personality, you'll start to build a relationship with your clients and they'll come back over and over and over. Like they'll come to you over someone who gets all the hair up and does a painless fast wax and doesn't say any t anything to them the whole time they're there. Because they won't remember that person. Like it's just, it, you just providing the service, but someone will forget what you said or forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. So if you have a really big personality and you're very sweet, this is gonna be perfect for you. This is this job is gonna be perfect for you because it's 65% personality, I think. I really, I really do, 35% skill. I really do believe that I, I it's, it's been proven because in the beginning I didn't I didn't know what I was doing I didn't I wasn't great I wasn't that great at it but I am really good at making people feel comfortable and I allowed those I built my book on allowing building relationships with people so now I still have people who I was terrible I, the waxes were terrible in the beginning but they are still with me six years later because I built a relationship with them so they grew with me so I started out terrible but now I'm way better and now they get to the, reap the benefits of me being a good exer because they grew with me. So if you can connect with your clients on a personal level, which is very important because that's going to be half of your tip. Honestly, it just is like you can't just wax and not say anything to your clients. They're not going to tip you. They're not going to want to come back. You're not going to build a lasting relationship with them like that. But if you talk to them and you ask them, you know, about their life and you, you know, get them to open up to you, they'll remember that and they'll come back to you over and over and they'll tip you over and over. So definitely make sure that, um, you know, you are not just waxing. Like I said, you are waxing with a purpose. So you want to make them feel comfortable. You want to make sure that you are touching them lightly. That's honestly one of the biggest things that I compliments that I get from guests when they say, or when they think that you know I'm like the best waxer that they ever had, is because I touch them gently. Gent I'm gentle, very gentle. They always say I'm very gentle. Like the wax can hurt, but your touch can be gentle. As far as like when you are applying the pre wax cleanser and the pre wax oil and the powder. You should be really applying it lightly. Like when you're touching their skin, you should really be touching them lightly. You shouldn't be like rough because if, if that part, if the beginning is rough and then the wax is rough, it's a, a total rough experience and they're gonna feel like they had a terrible experience. But if you're gentle, you're soft, your touch is soft, your voice is soft, your energy is soft, and then you have a rough wax, it balances it out and it's, it's, it just makes it feel like, oh, it hurt, but you weren't bad. You were great, but it hurt. So they'll come back if they feel that way. But if they feel like everything was terrible, like every the whole entire experience was bad, they're not gonna come back. So you really just have to kind of manipulate the situation into making it not be as bad. And there is no way to do a painless wax, but there is a way to make people feel comfortable when they walk into your room. And so if you can do that, you're gonna be a relaxer. If you can make people feel comfortable, even if you don't get up all the hair, even if it wasn't completely, you know, pain-free or painless, if you can connect with them and make them laugh and make them feel good and just kind of make them feel like they did something for themselves, because waxing is a, it's, it's, it's like a service that you do for yourself. It's something that makes you feel good. Like a lot of us, you can, are that type of person that everybody loves every single time, you're not gonna please, please everybody. 
please take that and like really take that to heart because it's really really hard in the beginning and there are some things that can really discourage you that will happen and um there's people who will discourage you but if you just remember in the back of your head that everything takes time no one became a really great wax specialist overnight and everybody goes through this i will get through it i will get better i will practice and i'm gonna get this money because let me tell you being a wax specialist whether you do it for a company whether you do it for a private business whether you do it on your own is a very lucrative business you can make a lot of money doing it um if this is something that you feel like you want to do go for it anyone and I say this wholeheartedly in my heart. Anyone can learn the skill of waxing. It's so easy. Once you do it enough, anybody can 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 perform a wax. That's why you have so many DIY videos because people can do it. That's not what makes you a wax specialist and a really great wax tech that's not what makes you just because you can perform a skill does not mean that you are you know made out and cut out to do it like I'm gonna say it before is 65% of this is going to be how you know how you handle people how you make people feel how can how comfortable can you make someone anybody can be a wax can can do a wax anybody can perform a wax just like anybody can shave their legs like it's not hard, it's not rocket science. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to be a waxer to perform the skill, but it does take a special kind of person to make someone feel comfortable and make someone be open and, you know, want to lay on the table and open their legs for you. Like that is a very, if you really think about what happens, you know, down there and, and that's a, a really sacred place for a woman and also we really have to be honest and realistic about the fact that some women have been through trauma in that area so we really have to be careful about how we touch people how we speak to people um, and just how we make people feel when we're touching them in that area because like I said, sadly, some women, some girls have been through trauma when it comes to that situation. So you have to be aware of that. And you have to assume, you know, that everybody is nervous. Like everybody is scared because it's not easy. For some, you'll have some women who will come in and they'll just be so comfortable and they'll just, you know, lay on the table and, you know, they won't care. But then you'll also have some women shaking like nervous because you are a complete stranger and you don't you know they don't know anything about you and you just want me to take my clothes off and just lay here on the table and you know I don't know anything about you this is what they're thinking so it is your job as much as you know we feel like it's not our job it is it's 100% it's your job to make your client feel comfortable and first thing they're gonna ask you especially is if they're new is this gonna hurt absolutely yes you tell them absolutely yes don't beat around the bush don't tell them no it's not gonna hurt you're gonna tell them no it's not because if you do that what's gonna happen is you're gonna tell them no it don't hurt then when it hurt they gonna say you did a bad job when in all actuality you didn't do a bad job. You just did your job. You did the job that they asked you to do. And the job that they asked you to do hurts. So you want to really get into the habit of being very honest. You know, you don't have, not brutally honest, but being very honest with people and letting them know that, yes, this will hurt. This is not painless. This is not quick. Um, the biggest, the best thing that I always tell my guests is like the biggest advice I can give you is just to breathe deep. Breathe deep breaths and breathe deep breathe deep breaths out and relax i always tell my guests to trust me you have to trust me i'm the wax tech i know what i'm doing you have to let them know that because some people will try to tell you how to do your job and it can be intimidating because you think that you have to listen to them because it is their body but it's like you know what you're doing you know you are the wax tech especially if you have gotten your technique down and you know what you're doing do not let anyone tell you how to wax them 
you ex how you were taught, how you were trained, and how you feel confident waxing. Um, and don't let anyone tell you how to wax them because they don't know they're not wax techs. And if they are, then maybe they should wax themselves. <laughs> you know, so definitely get back up, dust yourself off, dust your shoulders off, get back in the game, and get better. Get better because nobody, nobody started where they are and like became an expert the next day with you know what I mean like it takes time it takes practice and the good thing about waxing is that you're doing it so consistently that you can be a great waxer within three months if that it, it, it sometimes it could be less than that because you're doing it so often um but um I mean I feel like I've covered everything that I you know in a nutshell like there's so many different I like um tips that I could give um like you know like one-on-one -on -one, um but like just generalized tips like I feel like that's it like I just feel like um just stick to it and you know be yourself be your, your come with your best self this is a job where you have to come with your best best self because you are touching people that's the 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 easiest way to feel somebody's energy is to touch them. And so um, if you don't have a soft touch, I don't think that it's going to work. I think that people prefer that and I noticed that the girls who are just a little bit more softer in their demeanor, even like in their personalities, are the girls normally at my job who are super, who are always super booked. So you just want to make sure that you are maintaining maintaining it um, and using it to your advantage. And um, yeah, I mean, I think I think I pretty much went over everything that I think is important. If you had any other questions um, or anything specific that you would like for me to touch on, go ahead and leave it down below. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. Like I said, I'm Shanika. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you like this content. Go ahead and like the video and um, don't be a stranger. Bye.